Hey, so I couldn't sleep, and something that uh, I thought would put me to sleep <clears throat> was to uh, just grab some random design thing off of the DIY chat room and try and uh, build it so that it's a little more 3D visual. And then everybody who comments on it will have the same starting spot. You know, try to make it more accurate so that everybody can pitch in some good two cents, unless it's inflation. You'll have to forgive me. It's 4 a.m. and I'm just about done here. So here's the uh, post. I'm not sure where this flag comes from. I haven't taken the time to figure it out. But I'll read everything out real quick. I want to make raised patio with the roof. Raised above the ground about 50 centimeters or 20 inches. Size 4 meters by 10 meters. About 14 feet by 32 feet. I have experience by building carport from scratch, comma, other DIY projects like that. So he was looking around and this is how he says most of the people do it. Concrete post in the ground, brick in between, slab on top and then um, metal posts anchored. And what he wants to do is embed the metal posts. So I thought about that and I said, yeah, you know what? Uh, I don't know how, but he didn't say how big he wanted these square columns um, or if it's standard brick or cinder block, you know, little things like that, I don't know. So what I did was this. Sonotubes down into the ground, whatever depth you need. I made these six inch posts. They may be too big. I don't know. I'm not a steel guy, so maybe four inch works. I don't know. Um, probably I would expect I would extend this slab more than I have drawn here, like three inches out with rebar, um, just to make it look like a lid. Um, uh, all I have here is one inch, and I'm sure that'll just break off. <laughs> Any concrete guy will let you know. So, um, you know, I could fix that right now. Turn on some of these layers. Let's see. Uh, let's look at that. Yeah. Let's see, that's fine. So if I add... Make this 14 foot 7. And then click over here. Make this 14 foot 10. Click over here. 32 foot 5. Yeah, you would pour this last anyways. And you just have to build custom forms to hold it. And it could be exposed aggregate. That might be nice too. 32 foot uh, 8. And let's go see what that looks like. That's better. So he wanted 20 inches off the ground. So this actual brick face and these posts are 14 feet. Or maybe 14 foot 2. I made it a little bigger. Just it could be whatever. I don't know. If these posts were uh, four inch by four inch, you might be able to uh, slide them in and have the brick go continuous on the outside. I just don't know what the look is. I mean, you could you could actually bring the brick out to the face of this slab. And the posts would be embedded three inches in on both sides. And covered by bricks, so you never see them. And that way, uh, the 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 guy posting was concerned about the metal flexing and cracking the concrete or the brick. And um, I don't think that would happen. So I I would cable tie all these with uh, turnbuckles and get them all perfectly plumb, nice and snug. 
but also you'd have to figure out how you're going to weld this. You know, like you can weld it on there and then maybe there's a plate that welds up and onto here. I don't know how this all works. Like I said, I'm not a steel guy. But um, I do know how to do pole buildings, and so it looks like it would be just a big pole building. Um, pressure treated, two by six, and then uh, use self-tappers and screw them down to the steel. And then this is just some kind of glass, whatever. I, Chief, does, I don't think they have um, corrugated plastic, or I don't even know what roof you want. You want a real roof? Then uh, run plywood on here and put shingles on it but if you crisscross brace this then the tops can't move they're all connected with each other and once that's done having all these two by sixes connecting that also helps keep it from moving front to back like lengthwise so that it won't lift off in a high wind so there you go. So let's help this guy out and everybody give their suggestions. The more I look at this, the more I'm thinking um, either bring the posts in and the slab in so that it's truly what he wanted, 14 feet wide by 32 feet long, or bring the uh, brick out and the the slab that's underneath here. Right, you can see that. There's actually a slab with footings. Um, bring it out to the edge. It just depends, like if you want 14 feet inside to inside of the columns, or if you just want the outer edge to be 14 feet, those are some of those decisions. So, anyway, I just thought I'd just do this quick video, and uh, I'm still not tired. I don't know what's going on, man. It's crazy. So, there you go. So, yeah, if, um, if you have a crazy idea you'd like to see modeled, uh, put it in the comments I'll find a way for you to send me a sketch take a picture with your phone whatever you'd be helping me out if I can't sleep I'd have use case projects to do because it's frustrating to not it's like if you're gonna practice something and you have no real purpose you're just practicing aimlessly that's a different mindset than if you actually have a real-world use case is a whole different way of uh, approaching the project. So there's that. I'm done rambling. Where's the off button on this uh, OBS?